I've been organizing for over 20 years, you know, young people, particularly around, a lot around our, our human rights and civil rights of young people. And over the last 10 years, we've been organizing young people, black and brown people, because what we've seen is that what has happened is that the mass incarceration system in this country is engulfing all of our, a lot, a lot of our children. And so we've been engaging in this campaign called the In the Pre-Prison Conditions at LAUSD. And that's what we're doing about here today. You know, we're trying to get, bring people together, get them to understand, you know, right in front of us is LAUSD, right? And so the idea is that we are right now in negotiations to really bring civilian uh, control over the school police in Los Angeles. LA, LAUSD has the largest uh, school police in the country. And, you know, that's where they're, you know, arresting young people. That's where they're giving ticketing young people. And for our, in many ways, that, that becomes the center where a lot of our young people gets funneled into the prison mm -hmm. system. And so that's what we're doing today here. You know, we're trying to educate young people about what's their rights, what they need to know, and more importantly, how do you resist? And that's what we're doing here today to really prepare them because we have an, an action on October 12th at LAUSD, which is a national day of action against the uh, school to prison pipeline throughout the country. And so we're, we're preparing a lot of people for that activity on the 12th. Um, this is the community rights campaign. That's the campaign I'm part of. It's ran by the Labor Community Strategy Center. Mm -hmm. We have been working uh, in LA for the last six years, focusing on the school to prison pipeline. We call it No to Pre Prisons. Mm -hmm. And this specific um, meeting was about really trying to break out of the um, traditional model of a press conference and really mm -hmm. try to expose uh, what the, the conditions through an art piece. And so. Mm -hmm. For the last month and a half, we've been creating an art installation um, that, you know, sectioned off into four different rooms mm -hmm. and closes with a space that's about sustainability and success. Because oftentimes we talk about the problems, but we don't actually say, so what's the next step? What's our future? What's our vision? And so each room really is really trying to specify how a student can get caught up in the school to prison pipeline. And it's very simple and it's really unfortunate. Mm. And I think that, um, you know, the part of this, part of this was really trying to, we're always trying to talk about black and brown unity given that black students and brown students have the highest suspension expulsion rates, the highest incarceration rates, everything that's um, terrible, we have the highest of. And so how do we have, how do we see that as a point of unity and then move forward in that? And I think this event is really drawing that out and really helping a lot of these students see that their issues are actually um, really about a system and not about each other in particular. Mm -hmm. You were found with paraphernalia with the intention to vandalize school property. How do you plead? Not guilty. It was just a marker. I wasn't going to vandalize school. And when the officer picked me up, I was a block away from school. I was going to school. It's not like I was ditchy. All right. Well, I see that this is also your third ticket. That's a grand total of $950. When do you plan on paying that? Money is tight. I have a single mother. She's working two jobs. I don't, I don't have the money. We don't have the money to pay this. Okay, well, what we can do is review this case in three weeks. And until then, your license will be suspended. That is not but fair. I have to take my little your brother's case to school. case is dismissed. We will see you in three weeks. In three weeks, my mom has to take another Ms. day. Dunn, we will see you in three weeks. Case dismissed. All right, everybody. We go on to the next room. We let them take our children away. We let them take our black and brown beautiful south. We let them charge $250 for a trip to ticket. Because of this, we have broken homes, broken friendships, broken communities, and a broken world. For the time of the Aztecs and Los Conquistadores, we have been fighting. For the time of the student walkouts in 1968, we have been fighting. We are still fighting. You can see it in the streets. You can see it in the bus. You can see it in our shirts. You can see it in our students. So I ask you this. ¿Qué pasa, raza? Do not let them conquer you again. Oh, it's, it's good for blacks and browns and, and, you know, for the community, period. You know, um, it's good to get people off the streets and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. No, it's serious. You know, how, how, how they really got us racially profiled and how they treat us. And it's really all over money. And, you know, the color of your skin really determines how much money they're about to break you for. You know, we all learn how to work as a team together and not look for colors, you know. Talk about race and games, colors, you know what I'm saying? We all like basically learn how to be a unity, you know.